I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13. Ladies and gentlemen, please place all electronic devices in airplane mode. Hey guys, so I just finished recording a video. I'm exhausted. I've been up since 7 a.m. just getting things done before tomorrow. You hear the laundry machine going. I'm washing my sheets that I'll be using to recover. I'll be throwing them away right after because she explained it's about to be a mess. But uh, here's what my setup looks like so that it doesn't get ruined during my recovery. This is going to be my place <laughs> for like, I don't know. But I plan on throwing all of this away. The blankets, the one that's in the dryer, the pillows. Lucky looks so sad because you know he's about to leave. I'm about to have peace of mind. Boy, this boy, this boy is a handful. Of. No, somebody's about to come and pick you up. Don't ask why the food is in there. He does not eat it unless like he's locked with his food. But somebody's literally coming to pick him up right now. That's why all his stuff is compact like this so that his mama can recover it in peace. My surgeon literally provided, saying that is so weird, my surgeon. My surgeon. <laughs> guys, I'm having surgery tomorrow. Okay, calm down. What? <laughs> That's not hit me yet, guys. I'm trying not to be afraid. I'm trying not to be anxious. Like, God got me. I'm already thanking him in advance for a safe procedure, a quick and easy recovery. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Lord. Woo, let me just keep, let me just keep calm. Let me just keep calm. My nails are ready for surgery. I left this one blank for the monitor reader or whatever. But these are my natural nails, just with paint. That's what they allow you to do. But I would say I'm about ready. Just gotta go get my prescriptions, have someone pick up my doggy, get that blanket out the laundry. I have like a little content I can be editing while I'm recovering. <sighs> I'm gonna be all right. Obviously with me running up and down, getting things done, and it's raining outside, I don't have time to be vlogging today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, which is my day of surgery. Wish me luck. Bye. Ooh, okay y'all, I just finished working. Um, it's like midnight. I'm about to follow my pre-op instructions. Um, and then when I wake up in the morning, I'm having surgery. Oh my God. Lucky is gone. <laughs> I miss him already. But I enjoyed my peace and quiet. I was able to record two videos because this boy can cry. Ah! Once Lucky knows I'm working, he will just cry, 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 cry. Because when I work, I sound so enthusiastic. Like, hey guys, Lucky be like, oh my God, it's time to play. No, nigga, I'm working. I have my little pads, <laughs> diapers. I have, um, I bought more Chucks wipes or whatever. I don't mind anymore. I don't know. I went on um, TikTok Live today, did my skincare routine. I was just productive. I'm about to call my mom and go to bed. Man, it's crazy. I'm still like in shock. Like I'm actually doing this. The skin is popping though. I was trying to get that mail. Pee. Doubt I'm gonna use that. <sighs> One thing I did not do is get enough clothes that I don't care about. I thought I had clothes I don't care about, but I don't think they're good for post up. I should have bought like. Ooh, that scared me. It was myself <laughs> painting up myself. I definitely could have bought more clothes. I'm about to pray and go to bed. Here we go. I feel like I handle it like a G. I'm, I might as well be this active and awake. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I feel good. 
I already put eye cream, eyes, the roller. Suffering. My eyes were getting so swollen. My whole face is swollen. Um, girl. Suffering. Suffering, suffering, suffering. My mom's been here taking good care of me. I'm so uncomfortable. I'm about to go lay back down. Probably take a nap before my massage therapist comes. Oh. These massages are brutal. Okay guys, this is day three. I got my first shower today. It felt so good. The massage was brutal, but at least last time I forgot to take my painkiller, so I had to fill everything, but this time was much better. I'm wearing a dashiki because I don't care about messing this up. It's been a little messy. I went to um, Bella Green and I got their brick chicken with sweet mashed potatoes. I got pasta with chicken. And then I got this soup that has like avocados in it. I don't wanna make a mess, I'm only opening it with one hand. Oh, come on. There we go. This soup has avocados all up in it, which is really good, healthy fats. So yeah, I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm happy. My under eyes were swelling like crazy, so. I have my little eye patches. Mom, you want to say hi? Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Greet my mom. <laughs> Greet my mom. Hi. Ow, I just slapped myself on accident. Uh -uh. Anyway, I'm about to eat. This has been like my bed for the last three days. It's not bad. I'm getting used to it. I wanted to go for a walk outside, but they're saying it's too early for me to do that. Guys, I was acting like a Gen Z newborn. Like day one out of surgery, I was walking just fine. Day two was rough, but today, today is okay. Today is okay. I have a habit of touching myself and it's not good right now, but I'm recovering very, very well, honestly. And shout out to my lash tech because uh, all the tears I've cried, these lashes are still on, wow. Well, I think I'm gonna start getting back to work soon. I sound crazy, Never mind. <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of these from Ross. I would have completely damaged my clothes. My massage therapist is coming. Massage is gonna kill me, but um, I shouldn't use words like that. The massages are always brutal, but I always feel better afterwards, so. Wow, ouch. I cannot wait to be cute again. Man, I miss my bed so much. This process is brutal. I'm not looking forward to today's massage, but uh, I need all this fluid out of my body now. All right, guys, I'll check in with y'all later. I'm about to sleep after this massage for sure. Oh my God, that massage was good. Look, I'm in such a better spirit. That massage was good. I just took a good shower. Feeling like the first lady of Juicy Couture. <laughs> this robe is actually very comfortable. I hope I don't stain it. My mom is not here. She went to church, of course. I'm gonna just try to see how long it can last outside of my garment, but I might have to try to put it on by myself, which is kind of impossible. It's painful. I wanted to mention this before I forget, like I've been eating on my juice diet, but making sure I get more fat than usual, like eating whole avocados, eating boiled eggs, like eggs are 50-50 fat and protein. Good way to get fat. But I've been eating a lot of fruit, drink a lot of smoothies, a lot of protein shakes. Um, my mom did make some bomb bitter leaf soup though, so I had that with some Eva Nigerian food. I just stay away from it because of the salt and oil. I'm just trying to limit my salt so that I don't get dehydrated so fast. What do I want to eat? I ordered from Bella Green because their stuff is like 
fresh and organic, I think. So I've been eating, I've been eating good, um, but just watching my salt, making sure I get a lot of healthy fat in and making sure I hit my protein goals, okay? I feel good and I think it's what's making my recovery so fast. And I feel good, like I'm ready to start editing a video. So I'm gonna try and see how that goes <laughs> because I say I'm ready to lie down, but um, I'm gonna lie down and see if I can edit a video. Even if I don't complete the editing, at least get something done, you know? I just hate lying around and doing nothing. It's really quiet by myself. This is my first day being by myself. Just, just can't wait to feel better. Ooh, when you go lie down. So this is what I'm having for lunch. It's um, grilled chicken with pasta and a little bit of cheese there, whatever that is. I love Bella Green because it's not salty, it's not heavy on the sodium. I'm patiently waiting for my mom to get here so she can help me back into my faja. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, I cannot wait another second. I got myself into my faja. My mom is at church. I know she's gonna be greeting people, enjoying herself, I beg. Like, I cannot, I cannot wait for her to come here. I'm self-massaging right now too. Um, and also trying to finish my food. Ooh. Girl, it was tasting too good, but I feel like it was starting to swell me up because it is salty. Like any amount of salt. <laughs> Day four, getting myself into my own faja. I'm proud. <laughs> Self-massaging, showering by myself, taking care of myself, eating myself. Thank God. Bad place. Okay. I'm about to lie down, relax, and maybe edit. I feel like I deserve to relax now. I don't know. We'll see if I get bored. Not me watching Botched while I'm trying to recover. Anyway. Oh my god. My implants touch each other, which has completely lifted the skin on my sternum about two inches. So I have no cleavage. They call it the unibu. My husband's main hobby. Perfect. It is a constant reminder that I don't look like that anymore. Stay right there. Don't look. Pretty much affects everything in my life, playing with my son. How are you doing? Hello, baby. After my surgery, the pain kind of never went away. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of nerve stretching. Which kind of Sometimes it feels like I'm having a heart attack because it, <laughs> I have Why am I watching this right now? Right now I feel Toodaloo. I really just want to be back the way I was. I just want to be normal. Ah. Oh, mom, let me finish my food. Okay, so it's like nighttime. I don't know what time it is, honestly. I ordered some more food, but this time I ordered stuff that has, ignore the lighting, my Netflix is on. But I ordered stuff that has more fat, like avocado, beans. I ordered guac. Forget the chips, but I just needed guac. I needed like... Ooh. All that white stuff you see is ricotta cheese, healthy fat. There's so much avocado in this. There's guac there. I'm about to literally eat this because I need to feed the fat in my body, you know? My mood has definitely sucked all day today. It's not fun lying around and not being able to work, being in pain, but it will soon be over. Hey guys, good morning. So it is officially day five of my recovery. Um, I just woke up like an hour ago. It takes me like an hour just to get up. Um, in the morning, I sound like someone who suffers from smoking too many cigarettes. And I have these like bags under my eyes. They're not too bad today, but usually they're really bad. Like I should have shown it when I first woke up, but mm, whatever. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how I get ready for the day, sorry. And start feeling more like a human being because this is gonna be my first day leaving the house since my surgery. I'm just going for a massage. That's not as 
good as it sounds it's actually very painful so sorry guys um underneath i have my faja on so don't worry i'm not naked or nothing oh, kind of but um mm. i have on a skims bra i just want to show y'all because my cleavage is showing and it makes it seem like i don't got no clothes on guys look at the bruising uh, wow suffering 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 <laughs> you know say that it's been pretty hard to stay positive people have been telling me that oh stay positive but like look too much pain not comfortable sleep for multiple days so much nonsense bleeding bruising Beauty is pain though. Before you become beautiful, it must be ugly because this thing has really humbled me. I don't, none of my friends know I've done this. It's like two people, excluding my mother. Um, but anyway, the first thing I want to do is my skincare routine. Since my surgery, since day one, they let me out. I've been doing my skincare routine. Like, I don't play about that. I had a dream last night that Glow Recipe was giving away whole gallons of their serum for free. Don't you hate those dreams where you dream you have so many shoes, so many clothes, so many food, ah, and you wake up and it's not real. <laughs> oh, my throat is still very sore from, you know, being intubated and stuff. So it's hard to drink and eat. I won't say hard, it's just like, I don't like the feeling. Hot tea would be better, but I need to hydrate and then I'll drink tea. I'm gonna show y'all what I use in a more detailed video. Cause anyone who wants to know my skincare routine, they're not gonna know they can watch it in this video. You know what I mean? So. I love this so much. I like that I can actually see the rose petals. Even if they're real or not, I don't care. I just like that I can see them. Um, if you're trying to stay on a budget though, I would use dyers, but I like fresh produce a lot. Oh, so refreshing. And I always apply it to my face, neck, and chest, and hands. Oh my. Just a habit that won't hurt. Oh my God. I hate. Just a habit that won't hurt. I should have ordered a grabber from Amazon. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Suffering. Okay. Um. And I wear two serums every day. The first one is the discoloration serum from Good Molecules. And then the glow recipes with niacinamide, whatever. How you really say it, I don't care right now. Mm. I need to go get like a full size of this. I love this stuff so much that I had a dream last night that glow recipe sent me gallons up there for free. <laughs> Maybe that's my son to go and buy it. Gallons of it. <laughs> Or maybe that's me manifesting PR package. Oh, you don't know how much I've been suffering <laughs> every day. Like this self-care stuff, don't it's not underrated. Like it's not underrated at all. Like I'm already feeling like a person that matters. This surgery recovery process has brought me down to a low I cannot even describe. So these little things I'm doing to like take care of myself, they remind me that I'm a queen and I'm a child of God <laughs> and I matter. I'm confident, I'm capable. I can take on the world. <laughs> I am worthy of everything good. And that's how you're supposed to start your day. I could have woke up and been complaining about my pain and being ugly and dry and ashy, but instead my skin is glistening. My throat will soon stop doing this and <laughs> You know, I'm taking care of myself. I'm anti-aging. I'm preventing acne. Anyway, next is moisturizer. I'm still 
trying to figure out which moisturizer is my Ooh, I'm heavy handed with the moisturizer girl. Just 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 know. I was a little too heavy. Um <laughs> uh, I'm still figuring out which moisturizer is really because moisturizers you can really go anywhere with those. But um, wow. Ooh. I'm still figuring out which one's my favorite. And each one I feel feels like my favorite. But moisturizer be sucking, so it's either a hit or miss for me. Wow. Oh my god. Ooh. My skin feels amazing. After moisturizers, eye cream and lips. This girl on TikTok puts her eye cream on her lips, and honestly, I have noticed a little difference. Mm -hmm. Guys, a lot of my noises are coming from me being in pain, honestly. Okay, so after eye cream slash putting on my lips, oh, I laughed. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna now do my lips, and because I'm going out, um, ever since getting lip filler like years ago, even though I don't have lip filler anymore, I don't know, it removed the melanin from the surrounding of my lip. Uh, maybe it was never there. <laughs> like, I just need some pigment around my lips. So I'm taking a lip liner and just lightly going around my lips. Yeah. But that's all I want, like, it don't even look like I got something on, but I do. I can't wait for the swelling in my face to go down. Funny enough, I used to keep an eyebrow, I still do keep an eyebrow pencil in my go-to drawer. Let me show it to y'all. But I keep an eyebrow pencil in here because I used to have to fill my brows in. Now I don't have to because um I have, uh, what's it called, microblading. Uh, do I wanna wear this today? No, it's okay. I can apply a little bit of let it. And all this, love this stuff. Love this stuff. Oops. Love this stuff. Yes. <sighs> no, I feel like a human being. Okay, last, last. Why am I acting like this? I'm just happy you got something that's cheering me up. Any small thing can make me happy right now. I've been so low. I don't want to make my mother sad. I, the funny thing is, my mom, when my mom be asking me how I'm doing, I be telling her the truth. Like, you know, most Nigerian kids, they're raised to say, I'm fine. Like, I don't know about you and your folks, but, you know, they're raised to say, I'm fine. Anything else will lead to a long conversation, right? And it's probably gonna lead somewhere you don't want it to go. <laughs> but I be telling my mom the truth these days, especially through this process. And um, I think it's making her sad. So I'm gonna go back to saying I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't want her to be sad. And it's like, there's nothing I can really do about this situation, but just like, you know, wait to get better. So having her suffer along with me is, is always not, it's not given. So let me just start telling her, I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing fine. Even if I'm not. I look like that TikTok that's like, what's your favorite color? Purple? Pink? I am a pink girly. But yeah, that's it. I'm gonna keep this on until it's time for me to uh, leave. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so. My friend was telling me yesterday that this is not tight enough. Like, it, it cannot be any tighter, please. The bruising has gotten so much better. I've been using like, um, oh, Arnicare. Mind you, wearing a bralette, whatever, is not ideal, it hurts. But I'm doing that just to be modest for YouTube, obviously. I just love when my stuff is organized. But um, I don't think I'll do an install, whoops. That's not supposed to be there. I don't think I'll do an Insta, but my dad just texted me. Yeah, my dad just said he's on his way. Let me just hurry up and get dressed. I managed to put this wig on. 
Texas decided to be freezing all of a sudden, honestly, I would rather be recovering in the freezing temperatures than in the heat. This cold front is temporary though, so I think I'll enjoy the weather better when it's not this cold, but it's freezing outside. Um, this is just to walk to the car and get to the center and come back home, so this place is going to be freezing, I'm just, ooh, you know? And I'm gonna wear these PLT sweats. I'm hoping they don't hug my waist too tight. Oh, God, cause that hurts like hell. Oh, everything hurts right now though. Oh my God. Okay, you got this. These are really oversized. Like I would never wear these if not for a cover. Part of me wants to be cute and like do something with my face, but we're just not there yet. I can't even wear deodorants yet or spray perfume, which is crazy. Oh my God. Mm. Whoops. I promise you my breakfasts have been better than this. <laughs> no, they haven't. Anyways, um, it's giving girl breakfast. We're having a premier protein shake. I'm gonna take this with me. It's a ratio yogurt. It's high in protein too, but it doesn't make sense for me to eat it right now because your body can only accept so much protein at once. So it's going to be my snack in like 30 minutes along with this boiled egg my snack in 30 minutes so right now i'm gonna just eat these pineapples and this shake and then after that vicious car ride i'm going to have my yogurt and my boiled egg i actually want the boiled egg right now oh. wow that actually came off pretty clean it's not perfectly boiled but mm. 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 Lucky was supposed to come home yesterday. I booked him to stay for two more days because I feel like today's even the first day I feel like a human being. I haven't been on my feet. So at least I'll have, you know, he's going to be mad confused though. Like no walks, no playtime. Mommy just lying down on her stomach all day. Mind you, the doctor told me I don't have to lie down on my stomach because I didn't get fat transferred to my butt. But it just feels better to lie down on my stomach because when I sit down, the the faha metal like pokes into my stomach and it hurts. So, mm. I forgot to brush my teeth. It's better after I eat anyway because all this egg yolk. This is nasty. I'm talking to. Mm -mm. It's better after I eat anyway. See, my voice is coming back. It's better after I eat anyway, because all this egg yolk is in my teeth now. My cheeks are so big that it pushes the eye mask up <laughs> into my eye. I looked so crazy three days ago. I didn't even get on camera. My dad was like, Sophia, stop looking in the mirror. <laughs> like, you know you ugly. When your own dad tells you, Stop looking in the mirror. <laughs> You're gonna scare yourself. Ooh! My dad was like, Sophia, stop looking in the mirror. <laughs> I love myself ugly or cute. I don't care. I love every version of myself, okay? Even the swollen. Pineapples help a lot. I was supposed to take uh, tea, but uh, this will. my phone 
I used to think these taste so good, but after drinking them almost every day for the last year. Yeah, I was calling them to let you up, but they weren't answering. Okay, because we already left the desk. She's walking me to the elevator. Oh, okay. She wants me to put you on speaker. Do you want me to do that? Yeah, sure. Hey, Sophia. How are you? Miserable. Miserable. <laughs> Daddy's gonna come make you feel better. Thank you. You're welcome. Does he look handsome or ugly? <laughs> Just the way he looks, you handsome last time. Right now. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Sophia, I am ugly. Come upstairs. You called me ugly the other day. Bye. Bye. Hey, Hello. Can you open, can you open the door, Sunny? Tomorrow. After an eventful day, I am back in my robe. This is the most comfortable thing for me to wear. I'm making a smoothie and I thought I should share it with y'all. I'm literally not even drinking it for the taste or whatever. I'm drinking it so I can make sure I get a whole avocado in my system. It's just honey, pineapple, avocado, and almond milk. I don't really care to add other ingredients. Oh, ooh, wee. Yes, I do, actually. Yes, I do. I lied. Vital Proteins Collagen, duh, every chance I get. My brain told me to add spinach to this, but honestly, I feel like having a treat. You can't really taste spinach, but just mentally, I don't want it. So Vital Proteins goes in. Oh Lord. If I was really not lazy, I would boil up some Arnica tea and pour that in there too. But we're just gonna do this. Oh, it's not even plugged in. I just need an avocado on my system and some pineapple. I've been eating pineapple all day. That natural bromelain. Cool. Ooh, that looks so yummy. Weight loss is not the priority right now. Feeding this fat in a healthy way is. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised my lashes are still kicking. Like three chunks came out today. I've been crying every day. Mm. I'm about to go sit down. Bye. See you later. Y'all, I got on just to say. This plate looks so mouthwatering. It's some freshly blackened salmon with that shrimp spicy pasta I be getting from Bella Green. I uploaded a video today. I edited this video all while going through seven days post-op. I'm proud of myself. So cheers to me. I'm about to eat this and enjoy it and watch some Netflix and relax. And I'm so proud of myself. Like, I can really do all things through Christ who strengthens me, for real. What I can do is show myself right now because I look a hot mess. Hey guys, so I just finished my first week post-op appointment. Um, I was so happy to see my doctor. And I was supposed to be changing out of my medicine. I need to stop it because it makes me go crazy. I was supposed to be changing to go home and while I was putting on my clothes, I was like, oh my God, I should vlog. I forgot my camera at home. This phone quality you gonna have to do, but he said everything is looking good. But yeah, each day I'm feeling back to myself, so I'm happy about that. So I can't wait to feel 100%. My faja is definitely too loose. He let me know today. So I'm gonna go get it taken in and start wearing my um, boards and stuff. But the swelling is going down, I can tell. And yes, I am gatekeeping my results. <laughs> it's only one week, so you're not missing nothing. Stuff gets pretty active, like eight weeks. But let me get dressed and get out of here. Let's make some noise for my fall outfit. Make some noise, y'all, with the butt. I need to go. I am 10 days post-op. I've been needed it to be tighter than this after my surgery. This part has been wide since my surgery and I'm annoying it for being Wizard Kelly right now, but just let me. This is the best way I can vlog right now. 
If you heard that growling, y'all's friend is back. Having a loose faja has been killing me as far as fluid swelling in my massages. My incisions are closed, so I'm officially peeing every five minutes. I've had no issue doing number two either. I go multiple times a day. It's annoying because I have to take off my faja. Um, but I need to order lipo foams. You guys cannot see my place, but it's a filthy mess. I'm too proud to show the havoc going on in here. I think I mentioned earlier that I was gonna gatekeep my results. It's not that I'm purposely trying to gatekeep, I'm just trying to figure out how I feel in real time and trying to post content for you guys. Um, this is as vulnerable as I can be. My friends will be surprised at how much I've actually even shown. But I'm glad that my swelling on my overall body is going down. Allow me to self-massage while I talk to y'all. I did start feeling depressed um, because, you know, being helpless all the time is not fun or normal to me. And accomplishing the smallest things takes so much, like going to the bathroom or, you know, taking care of my dog. And I didn't even get like a BBL, you know? So that's why I can even... <laughs> is that too much for YouTube? <clears throat> anyway, my dad got on my nerves yesterday. I don't know where after my massage, he was like, Sophia, what was wrong with your body before? Sir, you're not welcome in this conversation, okay? Not a big deal, but I'm tired of being a burden and I can't wait to be driving again. I can't wait to, you know, be able to do things on my own again. My cleaners are coming tomorrow, so I'm gonna stop being shy and just lay off my face. My cleaners are coming tomorrow, so my battery's dying. Well, oh my God, my lashes. Oh, wow. And my skin is breaking out from the antibiotics. This stuff is not for the weak or the strong. <laughs> Uh, um, I'm gonna go charge my vlogging camera batteries. And you know what, tomorrow's Monday. It's a great day to restart. I'm super happy and excited. I can't wait to see the final results. The final because it takes like a year, but whatever. I just can't wait to see the unbruised, unswollen, unpainful results. And I can't wait to get back in the nail shop. These are the nails post-op. I can't wait to get a facial. I can't wait to get my lashes done. I can't wait to sit in my car. I can't wait to see my friends. I can't wait to go to brunch. I can't wait to get in my stage two faha. One week down, seven more to go minimum. And then after that, 52. <laughs> the best thing I did do though is invest into good post-op care. You know, my massages, my supplements, what I'm eating, the post-op garments, like, if you think the surgery is the most expensive thing, that means you're not doing post-op right. I don't mean that literally. I don't know how much I've spent post-op, but that's the point, like, I don't have like a mental budget or cap or nothing. I'm just doing whatever makes me feel like I'm getting the most out of my surgery because God forbid I went through all this for no reason. Oh, I'm about to go pee. Anyway, I need to go pee. So I'll talk to you later, yeah? Big purr. I don't know how to feel about this. We need to go get this taken in tomorrow so it can make sense. Ooh, good night. Love you, Houston. Hey guys, so today was literally the roughest day ever. I can't even lie to you. Um, I cried so much today, but honestly, I had to just give myself some grace and pray about it and, you know, just allow it. Cause I honestly can't remember the last time I had like a really bad day. Today was the first like bad day I've had in a while, but any day I have life, I have to be grateful, so. I don't even wanna talk about it. I got on camera because I'm not sure how long this is gonna last and this is one bright side to my day. My cleaners came and cleaned. My eyes are so swollen from crying, child. 
Um, and I got my Faja Titans. It was too loose. It caused me to have a lot of fibrosis. Honestly, I don't like this Faja that came from my doctor. I'm gonna go to this store in Houston that my friend told me about and see if like I can find some better Fajas there because this one sucks and I have a whole bunch of painful, painful, painful fibrosis right now. I need to hurry up because I need to take Lucky outside. He just heard his two favorite words, his name and outside. But I want to show you guys how clean it is in here first and how small my waist is. <laughs> I have um, the board on and tomorrow I'll put on my phones because I finally ordered them. But they did such a good job. Like everywhere is so clean. Uh, oh, he need a potty. Ooh, I'm coming. <laughs> everywhere is so clean. Like ugh, I have my room set up because I'm about to watch my new YouTube video that I just posted for y'all. Let me show y'all. Look. I just posted this. I was up all last night editing it, so I'm so proud of myself. My bathroom was flawless until it took off. I could not wait to take off that loose faha. This room always looks the same. <laughs> it never gets dirty, but can y'all tell that this um, is more taken in? It could even go in some more. Like, it doesn't even still feel tight. Like, I did not struggle to put it on, and you're supposed to supposedly struggle, so I'm literally going to start prematurely driving tomorrow. Ugh beyond all of life's like unique issues what's really getting to me you guys is just like it's just being helpless this needing help for every little thing i'm coming um above everything i can't even say it's been the worst part it just was agony right now i didn't really tell my friends about this like that so now that that video is out i can freely run my mouth about it and you know let my friends in and help me i also didn't want my friends to see finish like my place was so disgusting with all of those bandages and pads and wrappers everywhere now that things are much better i can be more free with you know allowing whoever in right now I'm coming. Let me go take him downstairs before he pee and poo poo in here. I still feel like crying a bit. Today really, 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 like, I've tried to keep it together this whole recovery, but today, today hurts a lot. Emotionally, mentally, physically, you name it. And usually what I do to feel better is go get my lashes done, go get my nails done pronto, but I can't do any of that. <laughs> So I'm stuck with this. And I'm breaking out into hives. I don't know why. But yeah, I know after I eat some good food and get some rest, I'll feel better. And after I watch Lucky run outside too, that'll cheer me up. I feel bad that he's not like getting his usual walks and stuff because I'm not feeling well. He can tell I'm not feeling well though. Like he'd be watching me like walk around like damn sis. And he'd be like, mm. I'm like, yeah, mommy hurts. The lady that gives me my massages, she did say something that made me feel so much better. And she's like, literally each day you're closer and closer to the end of all this. So, mm. so whether the day was good or bad, I'm still closer to the end of all of this. It's one thing to wake up from surgery with no issues, praise God but it's another thing to get through post-op with no complications, and that's what I'm really trying to avoid. Mm hmm, he's tired, I need to take him out. All right, bye guys, see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow. Ooh, today was such a better day. I have me, girl. I earned that. I'm happy. Hmm. I'm happy because I got new Faha. And you see, this is where it's at. <laughs> I don't know who's watching this video shot. Hold on. Oh, the compression feels like it's supposed to. This garment is doing what it's supposed to. This is the correct garment. I don't know if I mentioned, I can't remember. My memory has been terrible because all the medicine I was taking on 
for post op, but but the Faja that comes from my surgeon, this one feels good. I found out today I'm having some fibrosis. I got some lumps in my legs, like. I was sad, I was like, why is this happening? I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. But I was informed that it's inevitable, like any type of surgery you get, there's gonna be something. A keloid, a seroma, fibrosis, whatever. I feel like after such a bad day like I had yesterday, the only motivation is to have an amazing day. Today was not amazing, but we thank God, tomorrow can be amazing, so. Y'all see the difference, right? Like, maybe because the other one was black, it was sweeting you. It was sweeting me that it was black. I don't really care for nude. Uh uh. I can't wait to see my final result after all this suffering. Because this is ghetto. Let me charge my social battery before my friends get here. They haven't seen me in weeks, so I know they're about to be. Jeremy in this place. <laughs> Happy to see them. Look, he's so cute. Bye. Hey guys, look who's trying to be cute today. So I'm officially two weeks post-op. I'm happy because I actually have on like human being looking clothes. And with me being two weeks post-op, I get to drive. Every day has been a roller coaster. Like I can wake up and be like good enough to do my skincare routine, have some strength, and then I can wake up and just be like, I can't do nothing. But today is a day where I could wake up and do something. I have my faha on underneath. I'm trying to get my life back. Like I have my massage appointment in a few, but I ordered groceries and this man promised he was gonna help me bring it into my apartment. Guys, look, tell me why he left it out here. How am I supposed to carry all these things inside? I'ma just hope that one of my neighbors is nice enough to help me. Some of that stuff is frozen, so it's gonna be thawing. But let me just go downstairs and see. I'm happy. Remember how the other day I told you all my friends were coming over? That was yesterday? Two days ago? Yesterday? It was two days ago. Tell me when my friends came over and I literally knocked out on my face and slept all the way into the next day. I remember them just like waking me up to tell me they're leaving. I was like, damn, like, anyway, I'm kind of liking how things are, y'all see what's going on? Y'all see what's going on? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, I can't even pose, <laughs> quote. I can't even pose, but OMG, OMG. I have about eight more good weeks of healing. So even though I look well, guys, I'm in pain just standing here and I'm still on, the painkillers the surgeon gave me. Um, I don't take them all the time. I only take them before my massage because these massages be excruciating. Excruciating, like painful, like ah! painful. Yeah, so, um, and I start wearing my foams today. So when I go to my massage, they're gonna put in my foams. I should have started wearing them earlier, but since we're here talking, basically what they call the lipo package that I got from my doctor, I ended up having to buy everything from like other places. The lipo board, the backboard, I mean the ab board, sorry, the foams, the the garments, like bro. And I was told to buy like so many diapers and pads and I didn't even, I didn't even use it. So I'm gonna look for someone that wants like shapewear and just give it to them and move on with my life. Annoyed, but damn, I look good. Honestly, I like the way I look right now, but I'm still very swollen, so I already know I'm not gonna look like this because I like the way it looks swollen. Like, I really like the way I look swollen right now. So, I don't know. Oh, now that I'm in my right state of mind and I'm feeling a little better, I upgraded my BBL smoothie recipe. Just, I, I tweaked it a little bit because what I recorded before, I don't want you to make that smoothie and drink it and be like, I think it was fine because that's what I had in my fridge, but now I got groceries. I'm gonna really show y'all how I make that BBL smoothie. It's been amazing. It's been doing amazing things for me. Let me be going before time runs and I start running late. I don't wanna be speeding my first time driving. I wanna relax, be a passenger or a driver princess. If there's passenger princess, I wanna be a driver queen. I wanna be a driver babe. I wanna relax. Why is my phone ringing? Your fine babe is getting back to herself. I'm so happy. Small, small. 
celebrating even the smallest of wins, looking like a human being again. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Lord, for sending me help. What kind of timing is that? My friend just called and said she's in the neighborhood of my home. I said, yes, because I need help. <laughs> She gonna help me carry everything inside. Thank you, baby girl. My friends have been so supportive and helpful and just reaching out and knowing, just seeing how they could help. And I really appreciate it because I didn't tell any of them I was having surgery. And they watched my video and they were like, anything you need, I said, okay, thank you. Anyway, this thing is squeezing me tight. Hopefully she's free free so we could hang out after. Anyway, I'm just so happy to look like a human being, bro. Look at a fine babe. Toodles. Okay y'all, so I just took a shower and got back into my garments. I have on my phones now. The massage is the reason why I'm like this. Like the massages are so difficult for me. Um, they're painful as hell. I just keep trying to tell myself it won't last forever, but it sucks really bad. But yeah, my garment is back on. I'm about to, me and my friend are just about to chill and watch movies. When I got home, I got like super I just wanted to do something nice for my mental health. Remember I told you I can't do nothing. Nails, lashes, nothing. So I decided to organize my pantry and fridge and now I'm tired and hungry. <gasps> so yeah. Ooh, let's go. <gasps> OMG! Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Ah. OMG. Wow. Wow, I feel so loved. Wow. Wow. Wow, let me see. Aww. <laughs> this is so cute. Let me see. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Boo. Sending you warm thoughts and wishes for good health. Make my men will be each day feel a little brighter than the one before. <laughs> I wish you a quick recovery. Please, I beg. Thank you. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. OMG. OMG. So pretty. This just like brighten my whole mood this is so pretty I'm gonna keep it um, I'm gonna keep it right here it's cute right here wow these are huge I'm so happy honestly those flowers really did brighten my mood like my whole vibe is just different I decided that one, I must be hungry, so I'm about to make my BBL smoothie again. And like I told y'all, it's new and improved, so I'm gonna show y'all the new recipe. Even if you don't have a BBL, if you're not interested, just pay attention anyway, because it means a lot to me. Second, I got invited on a little double day situation. Obviously, I'm not in a position to be dating, but it's giving um, a, a good evening, okay? So, <laughs> My friend is here. So, oh, it doesn't feel good to laugh. But yeah, it's giving lay the wig. Oh no, my lashes. It's not that bad. She said try to brush it. I'm screaming. There's only so much brushing can do. Honestly. I'm saying like to spread it. Because sometimes it gets. I can do that sometimes, but literally like, this is my first time ever where it like is gone. Uh, like, this doesn't usually happen to me. I'm able to like finesse, but not this time. I think what I would do is maybe I have those like store-bought individuals. Oh, yeah, do you? No. Dang. And it's like so ugly outside, it truly is. Let me show you my BBL smoothie so I can relax, enjoy some time with my friend, and then get ready for this devil day. Wait, before I make this BBL smoothie, I have to show y'all how I organize my pantry and my fridge. I don't got no food right now though, but when I got food, it's gonna look so good. Right now, it's just snacks for my guests and stuff like that, but let me just show you. 
voila <laughs> it doesn't look like much of anything but when i tell you this place has been dirty since like it's been dirty we have the oreos and the chips ahoy we have the nutter butters and the ritz we have the chips and of course there's plenty where that came from i'm gonna be modest and then we have all this like little candy you know what i mean i love gushers when i get food we're gonna figure it out obviously you guys know your fine babe is a juicing girl so we have a fridge full of beverages what else do you expect from me of course fresh fruit and protein shakes and egg bites and avocados and protein shakes like what did you really expect to be in my fridge of course water and energy drinks and pre-workout and yeah i'm a very healthy girl <laughs> if you just ignore my pantry but that's my guess my fridge, on the other hand, it needs a makeover just like I did. Like, I promise you my pantry was like kind of dysfunctional like this until I decided to organize it. But this organizing me mad cute. So just keep this in mind for like when I do. But of course it doesn't make sense in this video video. But thanks for checking out my pantry, my kitchen, and my fridge. It means a lot. <laughs> I worked really hard on it this afternoon. This is how I've been walking y'all. Arched. Mm. What do I need for this smoothie? I need... Pineapple, avocado, ooh, the star of the show, pineapple tea. I told y'all this was upgraded. Arnica tea and vital proteins collagen and honey. Mm-hmm. These are the ingredients for the new and improved BBL smoothie. Mm-hmm. Let me show you how I make it. I'm gonna first boil some water. That's good enough. And this boiled water is gonna be to prep our tea, cause that's the first thing we need to do. While that water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and get this avocado open. I cannot wait to get my nails done. Oh. Yeah. Y'all can hear that water boiling. I'm gonna take my pineapple tea and I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna, I have so much of this from Amazon, guys, so I can be greedy. I'm gonna put two bags of the pineapple. I'm trying to make like a cocktail, like a concoction, okay? And then I'm gonna take two bags of the arnica. And this is so good for swelling and inflammation and all that. Like the whole point of the smoothie is to take care of all your BBL needs, okay? You get your healthy fats, you get your pineapple, your natural bromelain, you get your protein and collagen in, and you get the anti-inflammatory, you know, things that are just great for your lymphatic system, right? I'm gonna go ahead and make my tea. I make it like way before it's time so that it can really steep and cool down because we don't want no boiling smoothie that's nasty. So maybe I'll use frozen pineapple so that it can kind of even out and I'll just save this fresh pineapple on a piece. Ooh, that looks so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. So now we're ready to assemble. First, I'm gonna take my frozen pineapple. Honestly, the more the merrier, cause, uh, ooh, never mind, that's not that much. And then I'm gonna take my steeped tea. This is gonna look really nasty before it looks better, guys, so just bear with me. I'm gonna take the tea. Ooh, why am I touching up my hands? I'm so Nigerian for that. Touching boiled water. Okay, cool. And then after the tea, hopefully it balances out with that frozen pineapple. Yeah, it did. It feels great. If this is like a snack to you, you can use half an avocado, but I need all that fat. 
So I'm gonna use a full avocado. It honestly tastes better to me with just half, but I, I can still enjoy it with the full. As long as I put enough honey and pineapple, like I'm good. You just don't want the avocado to outweigh the pineapple. It doesn't really have a taste, but you know, you don't wanna be drinking something bland. So I'm gonna use both, like a full avocado, so I can get all that fat and nutrients. This looks weird, guys, but I promise you, if you drink it, you won't believe like how it tastes. Make sure it's cold. Ooh, that might be too much. I do priority. Now I'm gonna add my honey. <laughs> Generous amount. And then I'm gonna put the serving size. Collagen is so good. With the collagen, I would say wait till you're like past a week post-op because this will close your holes, like your draining holes and you need those to be open. I wasn't counting. Oh, let me just leave it there so I'm safe. And that is all. This might be too full, I'm scared. <laughs> Do y'all have to be doing that or is it just me? That is past the max line for sure. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> Look at the color. It's done. Damn, that's full. You Look at that yummy color. So last time I used almond milk and it gave it like a creamy flavor and I didn't like that creamy flavor with the avocado and the pineapple. The tea is so much better. So if you can, I'm gonna link the tea down below and get it, okay? I think you should be drinking this as a lady anyway. Whether you gotta BBL or not. Not the smoothie, but the tea. The smoothie might make you gain a little weight. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Mm. It tastes like pineapples. And there's a whole avocado in here and I love it. My friend has been patiently waiting for me to stop vlogging. <laughs> so I'm gonna go join her and watch this movie and then go get ready for this outing. <laughs> Say bye to that, Ashley. Bye, guys. Bye. And oh, this is the end of the vlog. This is actually the end of the vlog. We've actually been through so much. I've been through so much, and you guys watched. <laughs> you know, I started it off day before surgery. I went in for surgery. I came back from surgery. I so fat. <laughs> I so fat. I'm still suffering small, but we're getting better. And hopefully by my next vlog, I'm back to myself. Eyebrows done, get the lashes done, get the nails done. I wanna try this new nail they came out with where you don't need acrylic or anything and it's good for your real nails, but you can still have like long nails. Y'all see in my next vlog. It's gonna be giving like self care and get myself back. Cause I've been feeling like, like beef real. Girl. But it's part of the healing process. Thanks for joining me on these difficult days, guys. I don't know even what I recorded in the beginning because I was under anesthesia still and kind of woozy from all the medications I was on. So I don't know what this vlog gonna be, but I hope it's good and I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> I definitely love seeing you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and join the community of fine babes so we can keep in touch. And to all my fine babes, make sure you're the ones liking and commenting, okay? I love reading y'all's comments. I really do, but yeah. Love you guys. Thanks for healing with me. I'll see you guys in my next video, which is very soon. Bye.